that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go. Hi guys, Charlani here. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're jumping right into today's super quick project. I'm taking the time to make these stain boards so I know exactly what color my projects will be when I stain them. This is something I can refer to for all my future projects and I'll be able to make a for sure decision on what stain to use. I'm using pine boards here and Minwax pre-stain so that the application will be consistent. Pine tends to be splotchy when stained and I find that using a pre-stain is super helpful. Now, I don't know that it's a bad thing, but I can be very indecisive when it comes to paint color or stain color and making decisions on those finishing touches that in my opinion can really make or break the outcome of a project so taking the time to make these boards is totally worth it always always mix your stain and paint for that matter i shake it up really well and i use popsicle sticks or paint sticks obviously if it's a can of paint but I've learned the hard way that not mixing can really cost you in the end. The more projects I do, the more I realize that it doesn't pay to cut corners or do something half fast. And even if it takes a bit longer to complete a project, just do it right the first time. Preparation really is key. And the difference between if something looks really good or if something looks crappy. And if you've taken a lot of time to do a project or a DIY or you've made something, you don't want it to look crappy because you rushed the finishing touch. Sun and rain and trust and let it go. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering. If boy you make it safely to the end, the end, the end. And if you ever wonder, there is nothing wrong with a little thunder. There's things in life you simply need to know. About sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights of wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end There's things in life you simply need to know And here we go. I am so happy that I did this. This is amazing. And I kind of feel like if ever I use any other kind of wood that I should do a board like this for each of these colors because I'm sure that these stains will look different depending on the type of wood I am using and what I'm working with. So here we have the Jacobine here, Ebony, Espresso, Dark Walnut, and I know I wrote it with an X, it should be an S, it is what it is. <laughs> But these are, so these are my go-to colors. This is my jam right here. Then we've got Phantom Gray, which is very interesting. Hmm. I don't know in what situation I would ever use that color, but it is very interesting. I do like how it brings out that wood grain. Kind of cool. Then we've got Provincial early American special walnut. And then I only have two here, natural, which almost didn't make any difference at all. And then colonial maple here. And then I've got room for two more colors here if ever I want. But this is what I've got and I love. This is my board right here. Love this board so, so very much. I do like these two as well. And again, I, I don't know. We just have to kind of figure it out. Oh, and then I also did, so this is one coat here and then two coats here just to see what that difference is as well. But yeah, this is good. So now I know when I am working on a project and I need to stain it, I'll know exactly what color I am needing.